Hi everybody, Dave Sawicki, Application Specialist with 3ARM America. Today we're going to take a look at our M5 manipulator. 110 pound capacity, 65 inches of horizontal reach, 28 inches of vertical reach, equals 14 up and 14 down. On our M5 we have a shunk gripper with custom jaws for a 76 pound 10 inch diameter part. We have the revolving head member which allows us to move downward 90 degrees and back up to center. There are options to have this same movement to go up 90 degrees and back to center. With this head member we have a pin to pull for the detents so we have locking at each 90 as well as allowing manual rotation. A fully adjustable handlebar for the operator as well as an ergonomic grip and joystick. On our M5 we also have pneumatic brakes at each arm rotation and one for the tilting arm. Brakes can also be customized depending on your application. The controls on the arm. We have a low pressure and a high pressure control in conjunction with the red button here on the handlebar allows us to clamp and unclamp the workpiece. We also have a button for the revolving head member movement and the pneumatic brake. Depending on your manipulator, more can be added. We also have a lock on the base arm for stowing the arm securely when it's not in use. On the back of the arm we have the dials for setting the load and no load balance. The readouts for the high pressure and low pressure which is relatable to the load and no load. We have an air filter regulator, the air connection with an on and off switch. The M5 manipulator requires 90 to 110 PSI to operate. The only thing that the air is operating on the arm is the balance, the brakes, and the movement of the revolving head member. Okay, so let's get started using the manipulator. Right now the air to the unit is off. We're going to install the gripper. All gripping attachments for the M5 have the same connection, whether it be the vacuum, or the magnetic, or in this case the gripper. They all share the common connection to install. We just line up, pull the detent, twist until it locks, and insert the safety pin. So now everything is functional. First thing we need to do once we have the gripper in the manipulator is set the no load balance. Back here is the no load balance, so we're basically balancing just the weight of the gripper on the manipulator. Second step is to clamp the part. To clamp the part, we hit the high pressure button and the red button on the handlebar at the same time. Once the part is clamped, we can then set the load balance. The load balance is the other switch. So we're perfectly balanced for the weight of the workpiece, which is again 76 pounds. The next feature of the arm itself is the pneumatic brake and that is done with the toggle switch. Sets the pneumatic brake, locks all the joints. We're locking the base movement, we're locking both the tilting arm movements and we have a brake down here that locks the tilt of the arm. So that locks it in place so that any movements can be made. Once it's locked in place, 
We don't have to have it locked necessarily to do this function. It's the revolving head member. So we have 90 degrees down and 90 degrees back. So the operator can pick up the workpiece, do whatever he needs to do, lock it in place. We also have built into this head member a rotation. So we have a detent pin and four 90 degree detents around this axis so that if the operator needs to make any movement to the part, it can be done by pulling the detent pin and manually rotating. In addition to the table, we do have a variety of accessories available to suit your specific application. Contact us at 3ArmAmerica today and let us help you solve your ergonomic and work handling needs.